Hey everybody. So we had some fun trying to guess what the new Parrot drone would be. And many of us guessed correctly, at least partly, uh, that it would be a new Anafi. And it is. It's a new Anafi with a thermal camera, a FLIR thermal camera. So it's a dual camera. It has all of the features of the original Anafi, but now the camera is dual with a FLIR sensor. So Parrot's Instagram post makes a lot of sense now, but a lot of you guys already thought that they were going the commercial direction. So obviously this drone isn't targeted to your uh, average drone consumer. I can see this drone being used by first responders or firefighters, uh, even those that have a drone business and maybe you're doing some type of ins building inspections, things like that. Due to the upgraded technology, there is an upgraded price tag as well. This one is going for about $1,900 here in the US and that's likely a little bit more elsewhere. Now, I'm not really interested in getting the Anafi Thermal. I wouldn't really have a need for it, but I am still interested in getting the Anafi. But I was interested in what the difference is between the original Anafi, the new Anafi Thermal, and the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise, which has its own version of a thermal, uh, a drone with a thermal camera. So I went into the Parrot and the DJI websites, pulled the specs, popped them into an Excel spreadsheet, and did a little comparison. So if you're interested in that, let's go over to the PC and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so here we are on the Parrot website, um, and as you can see, they have the Anafi Thermal up. Now, if you watch my uh, speculation video, um, when we scroll down, there was a picture of an Anafi here, and up above it said, it is coming. So that kind of alluded to the fact that it would be some sort of Anafi. So, uh, so what I did, uh, some of you might find this interesting, um, we will just be looking at a, an Excel spreadsheet, but it's something I did to just try to get an understanding of the differences between the original Anafi, the new Anafi Thermal, and the Mavic 2 Enterprise uh, here. So what I did is I just uh, copied the specs of each into an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll take a look at that in a second, but I did want to share this with you um, again this drone is targeted more for uh, professionals uh, first responders uh, rescue services you see here uh, makes it possible to locate a body after an accident uh, to fight fires um, detect hot spots night surveillance uh, to pick out the shape of a human or animal so on and so forth so you can kind of see the context of what they're trying to uh, target in terms of the market they're trying to target and the various uses. So not really for um, the average drone um, enthusiast like you or me. Uh, but anyway, here are the specs here. So I just copied and pasted those into an Excel spreadsheet. So let's take a look. And basically what I did is I highlighted anywhere I noted differences and they, there aren't many. Now, if you look here, you see that for one set of specs, they used uh, the metric system and for the other, they use Imperial. Why they did that, I don't know. But I went ahead and did the conversion. Um, the Anafi Thermal is a little bit lighter. It's five grams lighter than the original Anafi. And that's uh, likely due to the, um, I believe the, um, the arms are, um, I wanna say they're shorter. Um, but they're thinner. I believe that's what it is. Uh, they're thinner. Hang on. Let me check that. Yeah. So the arms are a little bit um, thinner. Um, so due to that um, the savings in weight, you're saving five grams, which translates into uh, one additional minute of flight time. And it's a little faster as well. And as you can see, everything else is the same. So you can pretty much expect the same performance um, between the two drones. Um, now this, I don't really think is a difference. I just think it's the way the specs were presented. Um, so as you can see, up to three times zoom, all resolutions, I believe that's what this is saying as well. So no real differences there. 
Um, now, there does appear to be an update to the Sky Controller, at least to the um, device holder. Because it's saying that uh, it will accommodate screen sizes up to 10 inches here versus uh, 6 inches on the original. So, um, at least that's what the specs are um, presenting. Okay, but here's the main thing I did want to kind of compare. I wanted to see what the Anafis thermal camera how it stood up to the Mavic 2 um, Enterprise. Now, the first thing I noticed is I don't see, um, it doesn't appear that um, the Mavic 2 actually has a FLIR branded camera, whereas here you, you see the Anafi has the FLIR branding. But other than that, everything else is the same. Same sensor resolution, same field of view, same pixel pitch, whatever that is, same spectral band. Um, what else? Photo resolution, I don't think it's giving us that here. It's just saying image size. I don't think that's um, truly giving us all of the specs there, but I could be wrong. Uh, you got your shooting modes, video recording modes, and it looks like they're both nine frames per second. And it does actually look like the re resolution may be higher on the Anafi. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is a video and we're looking at an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, but uh, it's something I wanted to do, thought I would share. Figured a few of you might be interested, but that's it. I uh, appreciate your time. Appreciate you for wa watching. Stay tuned because I am planning on getting the uh, original Anafi and doing a full length review series on it um, but until then be good to somebody be good to yourself i'll see you in the next one later